California's GDP soared to just over $3 trillion in 2022, accounting for 14.6% of the entire U.S. economy. If California were a country, it would be the fourth largest economy in the world. As custodian of public funds, the state treasurer plays a vital role in managing and safeguarding the state's financial resources. So I am a banker for California. All of the revenues, taxes, fines, fees, interest comes into my office. Uh, last year, it was $3.2 trillion. I manage a short-term portfolio of about $200 billion, and I issue all the bonds for the state of California, as well as the UC, CSU, and community colleges. Over the years, the role and responsibilities of the state treasurer's office have expanded to include financing crucial infrastructure projects. These projects encompass California schools, roads, housing, public health facilities, and more. One of our programs is the ScholarShare 529 program that really encourages parents and guardians to save for a child's higher education so they don't have to go into high student loan debt. Uh, a new program funded by the governor and the legislature is called CalKids. So every newborn born after July 1st, 2022, will get anywhere from $25 to $100 in their account in their own name. So it will grow for 18 years when the child goes to higher education or a certified apprenticeship program. In addition, every first through 12th grader on free and reduced lunch, basically, will get $500 in their own name. If they're a foster youth, they'll get another 500. And if they are homeless, they will get another 500. So this is $1,500 potentially in free money. With the push to achieve carbon neutrality by 2045, the state treasurer's office offers programs that aid companies in the transition to clean energy. Under my California Alternative Energy and Transportation Finance Authority, CAFA, uh, we give a sales tax exemption for companies that are buying big equipment that is cleaning and greening our environment. Since Riverside County is home to the Salton Sea, containing one of the largest lithium deposits in the world, energy companies require state funding to safely and effectively extract the vital element. Our newest program is for lithium extraction companies so that we can build more EV charging stations, battery storage, etc. The Treasurer's Office is also dedicated to providing more resources to public health facilities. One of my agencies, the California Hospital Finance Authority. So we fund and finance hospitals, children's hospitals, and clinics. So the major regional one here is Loma Linda University, and we have funded $6.1 million in 2009 for expanding their patient care facilities. And then in 2015, we allocated $165 million to build their new children's hospital. And then most recently in 2019, gave them another $55 million uh, so that they can expand the services in this region. Though cities and communities statewide can benefit from financial support in all areas, the successful operation of small businesses remains a primary focus. A lot of the restaurants did not get the resources that was offered through COVID relief, for example. So we have another round of restaurant relief grants. Small business loans. Um, a lot of small businesses just need a little line of credit for a short amount of time. Most importantly, the state treasurer wants everyone to know that there are resources available to those willing to do their research. There's a lot of money out there from the federal, state, local governments, but people don't know about it. And we in government just put it up on a website and expect everybody to, you know, to, to know to come to the website, but they don't. And so that is our uh, job doing a lot of outreach, uh, marketing and educational awareness for all of the resources out there.